Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to find the area of a kite. Last time, we uploaded a video about the different properties of kite and its definition. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here, let's say for example, um, this is kite A, B, C, D. So the question here is, how can we solve for the area of a kite? Um, the area of a kite is simply half of the product of the two diagonals. So imagine we have here two diagonals. We have diagonal AC. So we can say that this is diagonal 1 or B sub 1. And this diagonal BD can be named as, sabi natin this one is diagonal 2 or D sub 2. And the formula in finding or in solving the value of the area of kite is simply area is equal to one half times d sub one times d sub two. In other words, it is half of the product of the two diagonals. So let's try to have some examples here for you to understand well how to calculate for the area of kite. So given here number one, if AC is equal to seven centimeters. And, B, and BD is equal to 10 centimeters. So as you can see, what is the area of the kite in kite A, B, C, D? So yung AC natin, that is your D sub 1. Sabi natin that is your D sub 1. So D sub 1 is equal to AC. That is equal to 7 centimeters. Okay? And your BD is your D sub 2. So BD is equal to 10 centimeters. And we are asked, what is the area of the kite? So we can have here this one area is equal to your D sub 1, which is AC, 7 centimeters times your second diagonal, which is BD, that measures 10 centimeters, and then multiply their product by one half, okay? Given this formula. So multiplying seven centimeters times 10 centimeters, that is 70 centimeters times one half. Or in other words, what is the half of 70 centimeters? Meaning, ah, sorry, this is squared, okay? The area of kite is equal to 35 centimeters squared. This is the answer for item number one. Area, let's put it here, area is equal to 35 centimeters squared. Ayun yung value niya. Okay? So let's move on with item number two. So let me erase this one. Okay? So let's try erasing this and find the area of a kite. Number two. Ah, this one is quite different from item number one. If the area of kite is 96 centimeters squared, oh, it is already declared that your area is equal to 96 centimeters squared. And your BD is eight centimeters. And so for example, yung BD natin, which is equal to your second diagonal, eight centimeters yung kanyang measurement. And ang tanong dito, what is AC? Kaya na doon kahaba si AC o yung ating diagonal 1. To solve this problem, using this formula, we have area is equal to 1 half D sub 1. Gawin na lang natin yung D sub 1 natin bilang AC. AC times BD. Okay. Instead of using D sub 1 and D sub 2, I used AC and BD. So here, your acting area is equal to 96 centimeters squared, 96 cm squared. Then one half, your BD, again your BD is 8 centimeters. So, plugin natin dito yung BD natin, times 8 centimeters. And then, wala ka pa rin yung AC. So first, we need to do is to Simplify first this one. We can simplify it and it will become 96 centimeters squared 
is equal to 4 centimeters times AC. So to solve for this, what I the next solution natin. Sorry, eh, medyo crowded tayo. Dito, it will become 96 centimeters squared. Kita ba ako? Yes, kita pa ako. Is equal to 4 centimeter AC. Divide both sides by 4 centimeters. Yeah. You can cancel out this one. It will give us AC. Is equal to, ilan ba yung ating 96 divided by 40, uh, 4. That is 20, 24. So 24. And then for the centimeter squared over centimeter, cancel natin pa mawawala to. It will become centimeter. So the correct answer or the length of AC is equal to 24 centimeters. So your AC is 24 centimeters. So in this problem, I showed you how to find or how to calculate the area given the two diagonals. And for item number two, I showed you how to calculate for the missing diagonal if uh, if area is already given and one of the diagonals is already given. So I hope you learned something from this video on how to calculate for the area of kite. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!